All right, so this roof liner has some uh, mouse holes in it, which means the mouse were living in it. So what I'm doing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replace this roof liner. It, it's going to stink and it's got holes in it. For $99 from Bird Nest, I'm buying a new one. So I've just started taking the trim off. So we have the tacks here that go all the way down and the tack strips. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll peel up here. There's the tack strips. And you can buy the tack strips too. I think they're $89 for the, the, the fitted tack strips. And they just go on these little bent clips. But right now I'm just taking all the, the chrome trim off to get at, get at it. So there's a fair bit of trim that has to come off. I'll have to get into there. All that trim around the back window. All the trim in the front here has to come off. Sun visors. So there's quite a bit. But it all seems to be coming off fairly easy. So once I get it all off, I'll continue videoing what I find. It'll probably be some vacuuming and stuff like that to get the mice out, mice parts out. Yeah, so you'll never enjoy a good ride in a car that has mice urine up in the roof liner because you'll always smell it, especially on a hot day. So for a couple hundred bucks, we get rid of this roof liner. All right, continuing on with the roof liner. Uh, so what I had to do was take the rear package tray out and side trims for it and all the uh, moldings The rear rear window moldings. you have to expose all these uh, staples and It's pretty uh, straightforward. I had to pull the quarter window Trim off. I didn't have to for this. I probably could go I could get away without taking those off But I wanted to get at the motors and put some power on them, but you could get by without taking that off because it only comes down to there, but you do need to take that off. And those just, I'll show you on this side, these uh, side moldings for the package tray, they just lift up. But first you have to take, there's two screws on one each side that join those two, the outer sides, and then there's screws along the inside. And then you have to give it a firm tug to pull out because they just clip, clip into these spots in here. It's just a full, a, a firm tug pulling straight out. That's it, and it'll, it'll pop right off for you. Good opportunity to clean the rear vent and everything while you're in there. Do any work that needs to be done. Uh, I took, I did take the rear vent trim off on the outside because I wanted to check the the whole. I want to check the whole vent while it's here, but it's, it's not necessary to do the roof liner. But anyway, there's a million staples, and they all have to come out now. Uh, and below the staples are these tack strips. They're available, I think I mentioned that already. I think they're like at Bird Nest, $89 for a, for a set of those. These look to be in pretty decent shape. We could probably offset the staples and reuse them. But I won't know until I get it all, all off. So I'll get my tacks, my tack puller, start pulling staples out. Now these roof rods, uh, bows, are color coded. I don't know if they're color coded in the car, but in the book there's green, 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 plain, and then the back one is red. So that's the sequence of the uh, of the bows, roof bows, headliner bows. So again, red for the very back one, plain, no color, and then the next three are forward are green. That's how they go. All right, so I'll uh, continue getting those tacks out and we'll determine whether the tack strips are still good or not. Oh, and I gotta pull those uh, interior lights out too. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, so I pop the lights out. They just pop out easily. You get behind them a little bit with uh, something you're not gonna scratch them up with and they just pop out. They're like a license plate light on a Ford truck. You just have those little claws on there. So what I think I'm gonna do Rather than fiddle with all the tacks, there's these little tabs that hold the tack strips in. I think I'm gonna bend those back enough to get the tack strips off. And that'll save a lot of work in the car here. And if they're still good, I'll try to recover the tacks, I'll recover the tack strips. If they're no good, then I'll, re I'll just pull the tacks out. Or I'll just throw it all away rather, and take the bows out. So that's the plan, is just to bend those little tabs back. They have to be bent bent back anyhow if I put new tack strips in. 
All right, just a quick mention about the tack strips. I did find a screw here. There may be more, so that's something to keep you aware of when you're taking this stuff apart. Again, not a big deal if you are uh, replacing the tack strips. But there is there are screws along with these little metal tabs. All right, I found another little uh, something that you'll be aware of if you're doing this. There's a metal plate that goes in here and it's actually stapled from the back side. And there was another screw. There's a screw in each end of it and that's the screw. I took one out and that's what's left. And there was also another screw on the tack strip there. So I'll have to remember about this metal plate to put it back on the new headliner. All right, they are actually the color they say they are. So there's a red one in the back. And then there's the plain one. And then there's a green one right there. There's a lot of uh, insulation in these in the roof, so I'll have to see if there's an insulation kit or I have to make them. I am wearing a mask while I'm doing this because there's a lot of mouse droppings up in there. But I'm going to start pulling the bows out and I know I'm taking note that that one there is in the back bow but in the back hole. And I'll take note, I'll take pictures of each one. Well, I can do it right now. They're all I believe in the back. No, this one's in the forward hole. But it'll change depending on the, uh, and that's the back hole. And that's the back hole. So I just took note. So that'll all change depending on the, the new liner. But that's where these ones are right now. All right, so one other little note here is that there's these wires that go to the back bow. I think there's two of them, yeah. And they would uh, probably assist to putting it in, but also holding it up in place as the roof goes away from it there. So uh, don't lose these, they're probably specialized and maybe not that easy to get, I don't know. But hang on to them, remember they're there and don't pull them apart. Okay, there she's down. Yeah, mice have been here. <laughs> you want mice skeletons, I got lots of them. So they've been in here, so this all has to be replaced, this uh, sound deadening mat. Now what's left up here is there's a, it's another tack strip. It's still like a plastic one and I don't see any way of getting it out. Maybe it pops out. So I'll just pull this, I'll just pull the staples out of it and drop it down. And then this, this roof liner will be out and I can start getting rid of all this stuff. Vacuum up the mess and uh, Get a new roof, get a new roof, or headliner rather. I keep calling it roof liner, but they're actually called headliner. The roof's in nice shape in this car. Got nice primer on it. No rust that I can see. Good. So we'll get her cleaned up. We'll get it out of here and get it cleaned up. Save the bows. The rest is garbage. Well, there she is. Completely taken out. I went over the whole area. Uh, cleaned it all out with, uh, I washed it down rather, I washed it down with spray nine. I also chlorinated it all with chlorinated water. And uh, she's looking pretty good. So now, when I get a uh, headliner for it, because I ordered a new headliner, new carpet, new trunk liner, I'll do a video on putting the headliner in. It'll be my first time ever putting the headliner in. But, uh, We'll see how she goes. I have the book. The book tells me how to do it, where to staple. But anyway, that's it for taking the headliner out. She's looking pretty good. It smells much better in here. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.